Welcome to March. February is finally over, which is awesome. I always say it has the shortest amount of days because it sucks the most. Did you know more people kill themselves in the month of February than any other month, which is why, thank goodness, it's the shortest month, but then also why I felt it was super important in March to have this reading center around our happiness, okay? So there are a lot of reasons why people watch these videos, but at the very core of it, I think that people are watching because they want some good news, right? They want something to look forward to. In the uh, words of Omar Suleiman, a very wise guy, he says that the keys to happiness are three things. Something to love, something to do, and something to look forward to. So hopefully, I'm gonna give you all of those in this reading. So, um, even if your life is already full of joy and happiness and bliss, if you're just wanting to hear some validation about these good vibes that you're already feeling, that, you know, to hear you're already on the right path, that you're making the right choices, the right decisions for that sense of security, security does bring happiness, right? Knowing what to expect. At the end of the day, happiness is what we're all seeking. It's the reason why we seek out help, why we would use a tarot reader, why we would look up our horoscope. This is why we're doing this, okay? We are fiends for happiness. It's the ultimate drug and so this is what we're focusing on in uh, March so this will be for your Sun moon or rising sign uh, a lot of times because of our moon sign correlates to our emotions and how we feel which is a lot of times why we make the decisions we make that might resonate a little bit better for you so um, it might be advisable to watch your moon sign as well as your Sun sign and then you could do your rising sign as well too if you'd like to um, what did I want to say okay so since we're focusing on happiness for March and how to kind of sustain that throughout the year this is how we're gonna look at it we're gonna do um, where are you at right now what is tainting any feelings of happiness that you otherwise should have right now what will make you feel happy or at least what you think will um, how is that perception true how is that perception false um, what will actually make you the most happy this month and then we're gonna look at the forces that are kind of outside of your control right, that is affecting this state, and um, which ones that are not really within your power are kind of accelerating your happiness, and then which ones are decelerating that. Um, we're going to look at what's going to bring you luck this month, your crystal of the month, your color energy, your lucky days, and then also any energies that you need to kind of bring into your life in order to help the happiness thrive, how to sustain the happiness once you get some, and then just kind of like a recap or overall nutshell of what March will look like for your sign. So um, kind of thinking about, you know, okay, well, is this reading going to be enough because it's for each specific zodiac sign, each sign has their own. Then I was thinking, um, those of you who have followed me for a long time might remember stop, drop, roll readings, uh, where it's something that you stop doing, something you drop from your life, and something you should roll with. I think I'm going to do a special on those, but um, really kind of amped up or accelerated in order to um, really harness in on that happiness sort of life coaching aspect. And the reason why I think this is important in March is because number one, it's the perfect time for spring cleaning, right? Uh, number two, the popularity of Marie Kondo right now and you know, sort of thinking about, let's get rid of the things that don't bring me joy. Let's just focus on the things that bring me joy and you know, we all are always looking for joy. We're either trying to increase pleasure or decrease pain. And so that's kind of the purpose of this reading. And then here's the other thing. We're about to step into this Mercury retrograde. We're in the pre-shadow period right now as I record this. And so then when it hits us, um, in order to use this time in its fullest potential, we want to very much evaluate, okay, this isn't working for me. I want to pitch this and I want to do something that's going to make my life better. It's going to make me happier. It's going to make me more joyful, more satisfied with life. And so um, I think I'm going to offer that like in sort of a goals and coaching, very intensive sort of way as a special. Um, once I decide to do that, 
if you're on the email list, um, I only send one email a month, so don't let that be a reason why you're not on my list. Um, then you'll be notified of that. And if there's like a coupon code or something that would be in there, uh, if you're not on the list, you should be because I give away, like I said, it's only one email a month, but I, every single month I give away a free 20 minute, um, video reading to uh, a random person selected from my list. So that being said, um, I'm sorry if this long intro did not bring you joy, if it decreased your happiness, but now you know what to expect in your reading. So let's get started. Hi Aquarius, it's March, yay. Okay, so here we go. Let's see, um, where are you at right now? Whoa, that's interesting. Um, they're saying like some of you need to meditate straight out the gate. That's what they're saying. This wasn't even supposed to be a part of this deck, but it's in there. <laughs> so some of you will benefit greatly from meditation. Okay, so where are you at right now? They're saying um, this is awesome. So right now, some of you are starting something new and exciting that will bring you much joy and happiness. For some of you, this is a new relationship. For some of you, this is a new job. It could even just be a new mindset, but a great new opportunity that you'll be very excited about with lots of room for growth potential and extreme levels of joy that last long term is coming for you. So yay, fuck yes. Okay, what's tainting any feelings of happiness right now? And they're saying, um, honestly, it might be like as you go through a healing process, especially now that we're coming into this like Mercury retrograde energy and like reflecting on things from the past, as you're healing, sometimes like that's creating this space for greater joy, which it sounds like we're going to get. But um, as we have to go back and like revisit painful memories, you know, maybe get that phone call from our ex in the Mercury retrograde, that can sometimes like give our happiness a little bit of a dip. Um, they're also saying like you might be self-critical. You might be saying, oh, I'm not working hard enough. Um, but actually, that's the wrong way to think about things because if you're going to be in this energy of like – you know, easy going, go with the flow, then those feelings of joy, happiness, those new opportunities present themselves with greater ease because your energy isn't pushing it back or resisting it. So that's actually correct. And don't get down on yourself, um, you know, saying like, oh, you're so lazy or whatever. The way that you talk to yourself should be the same way that you talk to a friend. You wouldn't be like, you're such a failure. You're so, you're so lazy all the time. Like also you're fat. Like, that's not something that you would do um, to a friend or you wouldn't have any friends. So don't talk to yourself that way. You need to be your own friend, you know? Okay. What do you think will make you happy this month? And they're saying these new opportunities um, and, like, feeling things very deeply and being somewhat selfish. So how is that perception true? They're saying, like, when it comes to those thoughts of, like, going with the flow and taking a break and not, you know, pushing yourself so hard, you're exactly spot on with that. And they say also, you know, that energy of going with the flow and trusting in the universe to deliver you all of the things that you want, that optimistic attitude is definitely going to work in your favor. Like your, um, your own inner strength, you know, it, these are all things that are in favor of delivering you the things that you want. You're having an awesome, you're going to have an awesome March. I'm so excited for you. Um, how is your perception false? And they're saying, you know, like that you need to, uh, deeply feel or express how you feel to other people um, when you're emotionally imbalanced. So um, kind of a warning here, like going back, like if that Mercury retrograde affects you and as you're going through this healing process, you know, moving on from relationships that sucked or whatever, you might feel like you need to express, you know, how you feel about maybe a friendship you're walking away from or, um, you know, to an ex. It's, mm -mm, you're wrong. Don't do that. It's not going to make you feel happier. It's only going to make you focus on your sadness a little bit more and um, kind of lower your vibration. What will actually make you happy this month? And they say, um, what's actually going to help make you feel really great this month is getting super organized and being self-sufficient, putting yourself first. Actually making a sort of plan or a list for you is ideal and advised. So, you know, if... I used to do this and it, I, it keeps coming to me like um, intuitively, so I don't know why I keep ignoring it, but um, I used to make like every day uh, on Sunday, I would make 
a schedule for myself for the week. And so it's like, okay, at 7.30, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. And then at 8, I'm going to do this. And at 9, I'm going to do this. And I would schedule in there specific times for breaks where maybe I'm just going to um, browse the internet on my phone, look at Facebook. Um, I would schedule in there gratitude journaling. I haven't gratitude journaled forever. I gratitude journal like um, verbally, like I'm always like, thanks guys, that my car started and stuff like that. But actually writing it down um, makes it more powerful because it's a physical action and you're thinking it and then you're saying it in your head. So, you know, as far as your senses go, it's the more ways that you're doing it, the more effective it is. It's like doing it four times instead of doing it once. So um, those kind of things. You might want, if you create a schedule for yourself and you schedule in breaks, you'll experience a lot, a lot of joy this month. Things will be awesome for you. So what kind of things um, are forces outside of your control this month that maybe can fuck with it? You know, with this energy that we have of like a lot of joy and optimism and new opportunities, which sounds a little bit strange because, you know, in Mercury retrogrades, they often say it's not a time to start something new. But in your case, with your specific energy, it absolutely is. Um, so what they're saying here is that it's this time where you sit back and you assess, is this or that worth it? You know, like, is this something that I can deal with? Like, looking at situations that kind of come into your life that maybe you didn't expect. They have nothing to do with you. It's outside of your control. But standing back and observing it for what it is, removing the feeling from it, is going to be very important, especially before the new moon starts, okay? Um, then they're saying, okay, if I'm feeling hurt, if I'm having a bad day, if I'm bummed out, and I'm disappointed... You know, oftentimes that's not something I can control, at least not this month it is. And just kind of remembering, okay, everything that happens, like it's temporary, you know, like all of these painful feelings that I feel, it's temporary. Um, I'm going to move on from this. I'm going to, you know, feel differently about this, even if that's not, you know, in 10 minutes or tomorrow or next month, it might be in 10 years, but you know, things are constantly evolving and changing and remembering that change is the only constant is going to help you here, um, that everything is temporary. Even our life on earth is temporary, right? So there's that. Um, so these forces outside of your control, you know, what's working in your favor? And they're saying, well, honestly, like, people are not communicating with you so much as typical. And this is working in your favor a couple of different ways. Because if people are not dumping their emotions on you when they're negative, um, you're not absorbing their energy. Uh, and then people are not, you know, like interfering in this good vibe that you're creating for yourself. You're actually completely responsible for this joy and this happiness. Like it's a very independent kind of energy for you this month. Like you are first and foremost, creating this environment um, by putting yourself first. And so without other people kind of showing up and trying to interfere in that, that's working to your advantage. Um, what's kind of working outside of your control to your detriment? And they say, honestly, not that much. Because a lot of you in this healing energy... Um, in this like, you know, because retrogrades, we find them so annoying, but they're so useful because it causes us to go backwards and think about things and how are we going to reframe them and how are we going to kind of release these things from our life. They're like, you don't really have as many like toxic sort of attachment, you know, um, people in your life, relationships in your life as you used to, or maybe you do, but now you're acutely aware of those so you can move past them and on from them or even behavioral or thought patterns. You're kind of like, okay, done with that. Um, and, you know, you're actually figuring out in a very focused way what's important to you and how you feel and what you want because you have shifted your perspective. And so really nothing's, you know, kind of standing in your way this month. So what's going to bring you luck this month? Um, your crystal of the month is Rainbow Aura. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. So anyway, Rainbow Aura, what does it do? Um, well, it kind of increases like your zest for life. It uh, makes you feel like you're having more fun. It increases your level of awareness, like as far as like the depth 
goes in your relationships. It harmonizes them. It deepens them. It makes you be more extroverted, which is really um, super helpful if we're embracing this fun, joyful, like new opportunity type of energy. Um, it helps you to lighten up and like really embrace that inner child. So this is definitely kind of the vibe that we started with as far as your cards go. It helps you to uh, to release like grief feelings and it takes any dark energies that you have and it turns them to light. So totally aligned and in sync with what's going on with the Mercury retrograde and the energy of you healing. Um, it's going to make you be a little bit more clairvoyant and clairsentient. So you, I wouldn't be surprised if you utilize a crystal like this, um, that you get like a very um, physical feeling about things like, ooh, I need to do this right now. Or, ooh, that gives me like, that makes me feel really anxious or nervous. And trust those feelings. You might notice that you're a little bit more able to see auras with this. Um, it'll help you to, to heal dysfunctional relationships. I always notice, um, so I don't intentionally look at people's auras very much. Like I kind of try to keep like, okay, this is what I do for my job. And then in like my outside life, like I'm not reading other people all the time. That that's how I shield my own energy. But I tend to notice um, very strangely, like in a courtroom, I would always see, I can see judges auras constantly. And then religious leaders, I always see those. Like if you were to go to a church or a mosque, I always see those, um, like whoever's giving like a sermon. And then strangely, gas station attendants. I don't know why, but people who work in gas stations, I, I can always see their auras. It's so weird. Uh, but anyway, that's this reading isn't about me. It's about you. But I'm just saying those kind of things might happen, so don't be afraid of it. Um, this will help you to balance out all your chakras. It can help you kind of balance out your hormones and stuff like that. So there's a little bit more that it does. You can check it out on my website if you're interested in getting one. Um, with, they also come with you know, like a lesson on how to use crystals and all of this stuff. Um, but I want to move on to the other things. I've got so many more readings to do, all the other signs. Um, your lucky uh, day is the 17th. And they say that it's going to be very, very, very super duper extra lucky for Aquarius, the 17th of March. Um, so that's good to know. And then the other thing is your color energy. So your color energies, you had two of them. The first one is orange, which doesn't surprise me because orange colors are often about kind of releasing fear, but then embracing this really fun, vibrant, excitable energy, which is totally your vibe. And so it says nurture yourself, but it's a 16. So it's like new beginnings that create more balance in your life. And then by doing that, you know, that's like a seven. So then it's like things only expand and get better you know, over the long term, like we saw with that Ten of Cups energy. Fan-fucking-tastic! Yay! So anyway, um, what does this one do? And so it increases your happiness. It increases your confidence. So how do you use a color energy? You could wear orange. You can imagine like an orange um, light coming through your body. Um, you could work on your orange chakra, you know, that sacral chakra. And when we're talking about like happiness and new opportunities and, you know, excitement, this could also very well uh, be in regards to your sexual life. So you might be getting lucky this month. Um, and if that's something you want more of, maybe a carnelian stone would be very helpful with that because it totally opens up that uh, sacral chakra and it helps with problems like um, ED or even like desire and lust and increases it. So what that looks like is like this. Uh, anyway, so point is that um, th this will help you a lot. And so the affirmation with this one is, I'm beautiful. I'm a beautiful divine being who deserves to be nurtured and supported, I'm willing to receive care, gentleness, and kindness from others. I love that. Um, because oftentimes when we're not receiving things like that, it's because we have a block, because we're resisting that energy. And so when people try to do kind or nice things for you this month, always say yes or say thank you, you know? Um, hey, let me pay for lunch. Oh, okay, thank you. You know, hey, you look really cute today. Instead of, oh, this thing, like I got it for $4 at Target. No, it's, Thank you, because now you're increasing your joy, but you're also increasing the joy of the people around you because they gave you a compliment and it was received. And then, um, you know, you're passing back along a good vibe by 
expressing gratitude. So now everybody feels good, okay? Um, and then your other color energy was gray. And what gray is for is a very interesting color. Now this one you kind of want to like, same thing, it could also be your power color, um, like as far as like what you would wear or maybe um, you paint a room gray or I don't know how you personally want to use this color, but it's a color to focus on, okay? Maybe when you meditate, you want to think about this color. But um, this one, it helps you to kind of scan your body it, like all of your fields, your chakras, your aura, like, um, and your actual physical body, your cells. And you kind of like go through your body and you think about like, oh, where am I feeling weird? Like, where am I feeling some sort of pressure or tension? So if you're feeling it in your chest, you just like want to like really kind of imagine like this light coming right into your chest to kind of heal and um, break up any stagnant energy that's there so that everything can radiate in and out of your field um, very fluidly, okay? Now with this one, um, this one gives you like a lot of information on what it is you need to deal with or clear. And you are in that healing energy, you know, moving towards tons of happiness. So, you know, if you're feeling stuck anywhere, you can put your hand, like if I'm feeling stuck in my stomach, I could put my hand here and I could ask myself, why do I feel that way? You know, like close your eyes and be like, what is this about? And the first thing that sticks in your head is probably something you need to heal. Maybe you have a vision of yourself like six years old asking, telling your parents you're hungry and they say, oh, you have to wait for dinner. And so like, then you're like, ooh, okay. Like at that age, I felt somewhat betrayed because I'm expressing a need and my parents refused to meet my need. Like, how am I going to heal that? You know what I mean? Like, things could go, like, way back. Like, we're dragging all this stuff in our subconscious, like, a heavy suitcase for a long-ass time. And so, like, if you got to run through the airport to catch the next flight to some destination you want to go to, you want to, like, throw the things you don't need out of your suitcase so you can go faster, right? And so this is what that energy is going to help us do. So with this one, um, the affirmation is... I'm releasing all stuckness and limitation from my life so I can welcome freedom, creativity, and well-being. All things that we are manifesting this month, um, you know, per the cards in the very beginning. And especially that creativity and freedom, fun kind of vibe. Like, this is going to be an awesome month for you guys. I'm really happy for you. Also, happy birthday like last month and the month before. Um, okay. So going on from there, what energies do we really need to bring into our life to um, have more happiness this month? And so I'm getting, you know, leaving the past in the past, looking at that and saying, okay, but that was then. History doesn't have to repeat itself. Like I can learn the lesson and it can be something completely different. And, you know, just kind of tying up loose ends, the whole point of a Mercury retrograde, putting a final like, okay, that's done, you know, putting it in a box and throwing it in a donation bin. It's, it's done. It's over. Somebody else can learn this lesson now. So that's what that's about. Um, how do we sustain happiness once we get that? Well, it seems like the energy is right to kind of keep moving with that. But as you know, life is like this, right? Ups and downs. And so they're saying really embracing that flow energy of just like going with the flow and being mindful and enjoying every experience in the month of March to the fullest that you can and having that faith that good things are going to flow to you, that you will be happy. I mean, um, this is a really fantastic energy. You're very lucky. You basically do nothing um, except for, you know, when you feel something good, being like, oh, thank you. Awesome. I'm really happy. I appreciate that. So March overall, in a nutshell for you, is like easy. It's easy. You do nothing. Good things happen so long as you believe that they do. And like, you might not be feeling a million percent like super radiant and beautiful and silly and fun. But the more that you kind of are like open to receive and you're saying yes to things and you're saying thank you, um, the easier this becomes for you. You really have very little that you have to do to be in an awesome vibration. They're saying you don't have to be like going out of your way to compliment others just like to receive them. You ha you don't have to be like going out of your way to show others love and support and affection and care. Like honestly, if you're doing that, you're doing it and creating some sort of an anxiety energy because you're doing it with an expectation. So you basically just sit back and receive. Hell yeah, I wish I was an Aquarius this month. So I love you guys so much, and I'm so happy for you. I hope April is just as fantastic. Um, yay for the best March ever. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this video.
video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!